Ben, yours want to finish the season on a high. Unfortunately, Mansfield were a strong side and we couldn't quite uh, get that win we all wanted. Yeah, I thought there were lots of positives in the in the performance today. And again, a team that missed out on the playoffs by, by a single goal. And we're more than a match for them today. And well in the game, they had good opportunities and, and probably should have drawn level. Um, so lots of positives to take going into next season. One of those positives, Jaden uh, Fevier, you gave uh, his full debut to and um, you've trusted him coming on in games, in important games, and there was one to, to start him with. Yeah, I think the change of shape today suited him. I wanted to get him in what I see as his best position and give him a, an opportunity to show us what he can do. And he did great on his full debut and there's plenty more to come. We just need to get productivity with Jaden now. So when he gets in that final third, there's, there's goals and there's assists. If he can add numbers to his game, then he's going to be a real asset to the club. I know the final game's only just finished, but in your head, you're probably already thinking what can be done, what needs to be done, yeah. and, uh, uh, and how we can take the club forward and yeah. challenge at the other. Absolutely. You know, we want to be at the top end of the division and, and pushing for promotion. That'll be our aim from day one of next season. It looks like it's going to be a really strong division with the teams coming up, with the teams that are coming down. So we have to make sure that we're on the ball over the summer, that we're working really hard in terms of our recruitment, our pre-season plans. And when we come back, we hit the ground running. How important are those meetings that you're going to have now in the next few days with the players that are out of contract in helping you shape that squad for next season? Yeah, they're, they're, listen, there'll be some difficult conversations and I've already had some of those and um, they're never nice to have. But um, I always believe in being honest with every player and uh, explaining where we are as a club um, and then giving them feedback, the ones even that are in contract in terms of what I've seen so far this season and then what I'm looking for next season to, to move us forward. So I think it's important to speak with every player um, and do that as a, as a club, which I've been doing with, with Dimitri, and we'll continue doing that over the next couple of days. Yeah, and, and you've been at the club a couple of months just over now. But do you feel like a good pre season, a full pre season, you know, really gives you the benefit of knowing the squad and, knowing, and them knowing what you want from them? Yeah, you're limited coaching time at this stage of the season, mm -hmm. and we, we, we've had an impact for sure, and we've, we've, we've mission accomplished in terms of what we set out to achieve. But pre-season is such an important coaching time because you get that extra time and that's your principles for the season and that's really your bedrock. So we want to make that a really strong pre-season. Lots and lots of hard work, lots of hard work on the training ground and the detail around that. Hopefully that will get us off to a good start and then we'll try and maintain that throughout the year. Yeah, and, and there was a point in, in your time here, short time with us, where we had two fantastic results away at Orient and away at Stevenage. But we found ourselves much nearer the bottom two than we were previously. Mm -hmm. and, what was the balance then of, you know, instilling more belief in them that they were doing the right things and those wins would come from the draws? Yeah, I think we stuck to the process. So the performances have been good and we weren't, we didn't get the wins that we wanted, but there was really good positives in there. So it was reinforcing that, showing positive clips from the games, reinforcing the good behaviours that we wanted, even some statistics that look on the balance of play, chances created, etc. We should win those games. And, um, and really being consistent with that training process, the feedback process, and giving the players the trust that we're not jumping around between games here and changing lots of things around. You're doing you're doing well. We just need to polish up on a couple of things. And that will get us where we want to get to. And fortunately, that managed to be the case. And um, yeah, we, we, we got those wins that we wanted. And we're disappointed to lose the last two. But again, there's still positives within those games looking ahead.